Emergency approval to use a malaria drug to battle the coronavirus. This drug could save lives, but there are also some dangers associated with it. Joining us now this evening is Dr. Rachel Lampert. She's with the Yale School of Medicine. And Dr. Lampert, thanks for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me on the show. I want to ask you, first of all, what is this drug? So hydroxychloroquine is a drug that was initially used to uh, treat malaria, and it still treats malaria, but it's actually used more commonly these days in patients with rheumatologic disease, such as rheumatoid arthritis and uh, lupus. Um, it does, uh, in some studies, have action against the coronavirus. Um, there's still a lot of research going on uh, with it in that area. How was it used to treat covid um, you know, it's it's a it's it's an anti it has antiviral action. Um, uh, the specifics you'd have to talk to a virologist, but it, uh, I'm a cardiologist. But it is uh, it does have action against the virus. Uh, uh, they're thinking it's still under investigation. Still being investigated. It's, but what are the dangers that people are fearing right now? So. Hydroxychloroquine, along with some of the other medications that are being used to treat COVID, such as uh, azithromycin, a common antibiotic, and some of the other antivirals, are safe when they're used uh, appropriately. So appropriately means when prescribed by a doctor who knows you, who knows what other medicines you're on, who knows your medical conditions, who's going to supervise you uh, while taking these medications. And the reason why all that is important is that uh, if you use these medicines incorrectly, you use them at too high of a doses, uh, you combine them in ways that might not be safe, they can cause uh, changes to the heart's electrical system. The heart, um, the heart has uh, electrical impulses that pass through it that tell the heart muscle when to squeeze. And uh, there are lots of different medicines that can cause perturbations of that electrical system and uh, a number of the anti-COVID medications fall in that category. So again, if you're given them by your doctor, you're in the hospital, by all means, take them. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to take them on your own in an unsupervised fashion because of these types of, of, uh, of uh, problems they can cause. Dr. Rachel Lampert from the Yale School of Medicine. Once again, we thank you for joining us tonight.